safety and first aid accidents can harm us and others some of these are very severe and can be fatal as well most of the accidents occur due to our carelessness we should always follow safety rules if we follow safety rules at home at school and on the road most of the accidents can be prevented safety on roads nowadays road accidents are common they occur almost every day and many people die due to severe injuries we must follow traffic rules for the safety of ourselves and others too we must follow these safety rules while moving on the road walk on the footpath or the pavement of the road if it is not provided walk close to the left side of the road use the zebra crossing to cross the road never play on the road obey the traffic signals do not turn or stop the vehicle on the road without giving indication before crossing a road look both ways cross the road only when it is clear take sufficient time to reach your destination do not rush on the road leave a little earlier to reach your destination on time safety at home we feel comfortable and safe in a house there are many things in our house which can hurt us if we do not use them properly accidents at home usually occur due to fire electric shocks slipping on the floor or consuming poisonous substances we must follow certain precautions at home to ensure that we are safe and no accident occurs accidents due to fire we use gas cylinder or gas stoves in the kitchen carelessness while using them can cause fire we should obey these precautions while working in the kitchen always wear cotton clothes in the kitchen synthetic clothes catch fire easily never use dupatta or sari ends to lift hot utensils while working in the kitchen gas cylinders should be switched off when they are not in use if we smell leaking gas never light a match or touch any electric switch it can cause fire open all the doors and windows ensure that the gas stove and cylinder do not leak never use curtains near the gas stove accidents due to electrical gadgets iron mixer washing machine etc make our work easier but we need to use them carefully to avoid accidents we must follow these precautions children should not use electrical gadgets on their own they should use them in the presence of elders do not touch any electrical appliance or switch with bare feet or wet hands keep distance from table fans heaters toasters ovens etc while using them ensure that wires and plugs of appliances are fully covered and not exposed if someone gets a shock do not touch them wear slippers and switch off the main switch If there is a small baby in the house cover the plugs of all plug points never insert anything into a plug socket turn off electrical gadgets such as iron heater or toaster after using them accidents due to wet floors we often slip and fall if the floor is wet and slippery or due to scattered things on the floor sometimes we trip 
and fall down the stairs. To avoid such accidents, we must follow these precautions. Floor should be kept clean and dry. After playing, we should put our toys and other items in their right places. Someone can trip over them and get hurt. Walk carefully while climbing up or down the stairs. Never run on the stairs. We can fall down and hurt ourselves. To reach things which are kept at a height, we should use a table, stool or step ladder in presence of our elders. Poisoning Often children and babies mistakenly consume chemicals that look like eatables or medicines. Sometimes they also eat food that is spoiled or stale. To avoid such situations, chemicals such as bleaching powder, acid, insecticides, etc. should be stored out of reach of small children. The bottles of vinegar should not be kept in the fridge as they look exactly like drinking water. In addition to all this, we should be careful while closing doors or windows so that our fingers may not get hurt. Safety at school In the classroom, we should not push or pull other students. We should not run and jump in the classroom, corridors or stairs. We should always move in a line so that no one gets hurt. While using scissors or other sharp objects, we should be very careful. In the playground, playing games is a great fun. While playing games, we should follow certain safety rules in the playground to ensure our safety. Follow the rules of the game to enjoy it. Do not kick or push others. Share the sports items with other players. Many children enjoy swimming. Never swim alone. Always swim in the presence of the elders. Wear sports kit while playing cricket, football, etc. Use a swimming tube if you are a beginner. Never push anybody into the water just for fun. First aid. Even after following all the precautions and safety rules, accidents may take place and people may get hurt. The injured person needs immediate care before medical aid arrives. This immediate care is called first aid. Sometimes it may save the life or prevent a permanent physical disability of the injured person. We should give first aid for common injuries such as fainting, insect bites, burns, etc. General First Aid Actions we must try to take the injured person immediately to a doctor or a hospital. We can request someone to help the injured person to reach a hospital. Never panic or get frightened while giving first aid. Be calm and make the victim feel comfortable. Do not crowd around the victim. Help him or her to relax. Inform the family members of the injured person. Cuts and wounds If the wound is bleeding, we should press the bleeding part with a clean cotton or cloth pad to stop bleeding. Once bleeding stops, we should clean the wound with an antiseptic lotion. The wound should be covered with a clean cotton pad or a bandage. Small cuts should be cleaned with water and then an antiseptic cream should be applied on it. Fainting If a person faints, then we should make him or her lie down with the head low so that the blood flow increases to the brain. Let him or her take rest and call a doctor. Insect Bite If an insect bites someone, then apply a paste of baking soda or antiseptic cream on the affected part. It will give some relief to the victim. Itching can be relieved by applying calamine lotion. Applying a cotton pad soaked in ammonia water 
also gives relief. Minor burns Minor burns can be treated by placing that body part under running cold water. Antiseptic cream should be applied on the burnt part. Cover it loosely with clean bandages. First aid box A first aid box should be kept in the schools, buses and at our homes. Some essential things which should be kept in the first aid box are Sterilized cotton wool Cotton bandages Tincture iodine Antiseptic solution and some antiseptic cream. Ointment for burns. Simple painkillers and scissors. Cotton bandage and cotton gauze. Thermometer.